So, Colin, do you want to go ahead and start? I just started. Just, okay. Okay. So, we proceed from here by, help me. I think the first issue we have to dis, um, that the board will need to decide is the motion to dismiss. So I would just ask if they had anything beyond their written documentation, the motion, and the resistance. Okay. Um, did you hear what you said? We're, we will be voting on your motion to dismiss. Um, do you have any further discussions or reasons of why or why not um, this motion should change? They might want to turn the speaker phone down a little bit on their end. I think it's causing feedback. Okay. Hey, Skyler. Turn the volume down on your end. It's causing some feedback. Can you hear me okay? That's a lot better. But turn, turn, just turn the volume down just a little bit. Because it's Curtis. That could be Curtis. That could be. I don't have okay. anything else to add besides the written motion. Okay. Did I hear somebody say something? Curtis Dahl, you have anything? No, I have nothing else besides what, what was filed in resistance. Okay. All right. Did he say he filed the resistance? Hmm? Did he say he filed the resistance? He did file the resistance. But that's typical, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's typically goes with, right. Okay, so we can go ahead and call the motion. So, yeah, based on what you've read, then you get to make a decision as to whether or not you want to grant the motion um, just by a simple majority vote. Okay. And the motion just being that we he gets the continuance of 14 days, is that correct? My understanding is, yeah, it, I mean, if you grant it, um, he'll just refile the motion since the 18th would have been obviously this past weekend. Weekend, so yeah. Really, we'd be in the same spot. Right. I'll make a motion to uh, grant the uh, uh, motion on, from the uh, sheriff's side. I'll second the motion. Um, I have a motion. Do I have here any discussion? Hearing no discussion. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed, same sign. Aye. Okay. All right. Motion's been passed and carried to dismiss. Is there anything else we need to discuss today with the attorney? So my... You may ask Mr. Dial what his position is as far as refiling the, the um, Mr. Dial, did you hear what she said? Hear what she said? She said, "What what is your position in filing the appeal?" Well, if that's the case, we just refile it immediately. So we'll be in the same situation. Okay, that's kind of what Lisa said, but we just want to make sure. Since you know that's going to happen, we since we have everyone on the line, let's go ahead and get it set for next week um, when everyone's available. And then we can start getting the things in motion to get the hearing ready to get set up. Now, that won't be an all day one then. Pardon? That would not be an all day one. We can, yeah, the hearing would be an all day. That will be the hearing itself. The next one. We'll be yeah. Looking at the 29th. Uh huh. I think the 20, yeah, I know the 28th would be a little bit more difficult. It's the Board of Supervisors, and that keeps calling busy and getting everything set up. Um, this courtroom. The, 28th, the 29th is a Wednesday. I know the courtrooms upstairs are not being used, um, so I would recommend using that courtroom just so we would have enough room to socially distance properly. Okay. Um, and then we can, um, I can get that room reserved with court administration upstairs. And then I can get a court reporter set up because the court the hearing will have to be fully recorded. And what time are we talking? Mm -hmm. What time will we start? That's up to you all. Judy, you're, with your schedule, you're working. What do you want to do? I don't care. Eight o'clock, nine o'clock. Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Is that okay? Get it moving. Do we need to make that as a motion or just we're agreeing on it? I don't think we need to make that as a motion, do we? No. no. We're just setting a date and time up to do for Okay. So just okay. like <laughs> there's there's a little bit of feedback in the background on my end uh, for you guys. So I'm assuming yeah. that Kurt's gonna refile this tomorrow. And then okay. once he refiles it tomorrow, 
you guys will issue an order setting the hearing for the 29th at 8 o'clock a.m.? You got it. Okay. And then are there going to be witness and exhibit lists to be filed so the commission knows how many witnesses and exhibits are going to be entered and what would the deadline be for those if we're going to do this on the 29th? Um, I would say your deadline should be the 27th. Does that give you also enough time, please? Lisa, do you want it the 26th? It's, it's up to you guys. Just 27. Long. 27. Yeah. 27 by noon. And I would say by 4.30. It's by 4.30. 30. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Will those come to Kathy? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you'll get them to us. We'll have to make sure they know that. Okay. So you, we will want your etc. by the 27th by 4.30. And those will go to Kathy Titus. Correct. I heard that. Okay. Didn't know if you did or not. <laughs> and Lisa, you had talked about how we want to do any um, video. We want to have it ahead of time or during the administrative hearing. Or um, the yeah, the next question we'll probably want to address is since you are fact finders, um, whether or not you want here just take the video or audio recordings and watch them for purposes of deliberation or if you want to watch them actually in the or listen to them in the actual hearing um, that may to make the hearing take a little bit longer uh, but as we talked a little bit uh, before the here before this <clears throat> hearing is that if you have questions once you've heard it or saw it it's easier for you to ask questions about it having seen it if you just take it with all the other evidence under advisement to watch later, then if you have a question, it's really difficult for you to turn around and ask that witness or the attorney. Um, I know it's just good practice, trial practice, I think, to just do it in the hearing. Um, the other thing is it makes it easier for the attorneys to ask questions that they may have about that video or that audio recording, which may or may not make sense to you when they're asking them if you have not seen it or heard it. So I would encourage you to just do that in the hearing. Um, if we need um, some assistance, I do know there is a screen up there. Um, our office could supply the uh, computer and the projector to project everything and speak. Uh, if so they need anything, we can take need care of that. Yeah. Well, if the rest of the commission agrees, I think we'd like to do it that way. Yeah, yes. I think yeah. yeah, we're I think we're all in agreement to that. We, we, did you hear what you were saying? You want your audio and video exhibits at the time of the hearing, yeah, so I that we that. can all. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm just just let Lisa, yeah, let let her know if there's anything special you need or whatever it is. Agreed. Thank you. Thank you. Skyler, for you and her, if you're putting it on a thumb drive or whatever, just properly label the thumb drive. And then prior to the hearing, um, if you want to give those to me, I can get them set up on the system um, and get them downloaded so they're already ready to play whenever you guys are ready. Okay. okay. Is Curtis getting all this? I think he, yeah. Mm -hmm. Any other issues we need to discuss in prepping for this? I don't think so. Mr. Dowell, do you have anything from us you want to ask us? Uh, is there going to be any kind of written um, order from the motion? And is there going to be kind of written order from the, um, as far as the scheduling for the hearing and the requirements to exchange witnesses, exhibits, and timelines? Yeah. So you'll just type something up, yeah. just to, and then just have Judy, just have Judy sign, sign, it. sign it. Yeah, because I can just come down here and sign it. Just call me. Yeah, because I'm not that far from you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, did you hear that, Mr. Dow? No. Yeah, we are. We will do that. So you're provide written notification for all the timelines. Yes. Okay. 
for the the meeting notice on the 29th since it's your half you should have your exhibits to us by the 27th at 4 30 in the afternoon and we'll get those notices out to you curtis as soon as you i get the new motion filed okay Anything else of us that you want to ask us? Any questions or? No. I'm sorry, the phone cut out. Did you say that uh, everything will be provided once uh, Kurt files his new notice of appeal? Yes. Once he files his motion, then we'll have that available. Excellent. Kathy. Okay. Is there anything else we can do? We can help you with so we can make this go as smoothly as possible for all of us. The one question I do have is in the past when I've done these hearings, there's usually a set amount of time that's allocated to each party. Um, do you have a time that you're thinking, you know, just splitting it in two, saying from 8 a.m. till 4 o'clock p.m., be a one hour for lunch, and then divide the time into two? Well, so we better. want to be fair to Ms. Coleman. How much time do you think you need? I'm going to have at least nine witnesses. And time-wise, are you talking, will you need the entire morning or the whole day, or what do you think you'll need? Well, I mean, I'll conform to whatever time that you guys uh, designate. So if you say that, you know, it's in one half, I'll have my case presented in that time period. But I just would like to know, you know, if, if you say that I have from 8 to you know, noon, and then Kurt has the afternoon, or however you guys want to do that, that's fine. Okay. What's that? That sounds reasonable. Let's just put it that way. And then that way everybody knows exactly how much time they have. Is that agreeable with both of you? Well, I guess I guess the only thing about that, that, that's a good way to do it. But, I mean, how do you do cross-examination, though? I mean... I mean, frankly, if, if Mr. Lincoln calls one witness and I cross-examine that witness for two hours, I don't know how that's going to accomplish what we're talking about. I, I feel there shouldn't be a, a time limit. This is a serious matter for Mr. Waterman. I don't think we should have a time limit. Let's start at 8 and go with it, and if we have to go the next day, we'll okay, go, we'll the, go next the next day. day. Yeah, I, I just don't feel that we should be putting time limits on it. Yeah, I, I, that's my preference because I don't think it's fair to try to conform cross-examination or cut down relevant questions. That's fine so with I, me. Um, as long, yeah. As long as the other members of the commission agree, I think we should be open to maybe going two days if we have to. That's fine. I agree. I agree. I mean, I think it's at this point it's what's fair, like Joe said to Mr. Waterman. We need to be doing the right thing and not, not rushing to miss something. Um, I'm afraid if we, you know, as I think, if we if we do a deadline, I think there's things we're going to be missing because we're going to be also busy clock watching. Does that make sense? That's fine with me. Hello? Okay. Um, do we need to sound that? Uh, number of people are going to be in there, no witnesses other than the one on the stand. Yeah, I mean, nine witnesses to cover in just a couple of hours is a lot of witnesses. Yeah. So we do have the understanding, though, with what's going on with COVID right now, that we are going to limit the number of people inside the, the courtroom or the administrative hearing room, correct? Mr. Dial? Yeah, that, that was my understanding, so we'd have to, and I figured... Um, Although the, I, I don't know the rule specifically, usually in the, any kind of trial, we'd call what's called the rule on witnesses, which means the only, you know, a party can't be in the room until they testify. So I think that's right. appropriate to take that up in this case also and just have the rule on witnesses and vote. Okay. Anything else we need to discuss? Okay. No, nope, I'm good. Joe? I have no other questions. I'm not saying. Lisa, is there anything we've missed? I don't think so. Okay. Did you need anything else from us? 
I don't. I don't. Thank you. Okay, thank uh, you for your thank time. You. Thank you. Have a good night. I have one last thing. Is there going to be any trouble getting in the courtroom that morning, or will there be someone there to let us in? For now that we have a date set, um, I'm going to get with court administration tomorrow to reserve the floor courtroom. It's the biggest room in the building to ensure that we can um, meet all the social distancing requirements. No, but I mean, someone, someone will be at the, there in the courthouse. We can call to get in at like 7.50 in the morning on that day from start at 8. Yeah, we'll, we'll find a way to get them in. Okay. We'll get you in. Yeah, Steve or somebody just at the door. Down at the door, at the front or at the back, so they know where to go. Whatever. Right front. Mike, <laughs> you just gonna have them at somebody at the front? Yeah, we'll get them. Okay. okay. Otherwise, we'll put in a driver window. Yeah, we'll get in. Okay. Huh? Yeah, we'll right. Okay. Just come in the front. Okay. Did you get all that? Yeah, I'll, I'll just come to the front and we'll call someone if, if the door's unlocked. Or, yeah, no, I think I think uh, Mike plans to just leave somebody down there and help let everybody in. Right? Yeah, so. we'll make sure of it. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Anything okay. else? No. Okay, everybody good? Yep. Okay. Motion well, to adjourn. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. All those opposed? Same sign. Motion carried. We're done.